everyone, my name is Anu and so and today in this video we will talk about my review of If Cats Disappear from the World, a novel by Kenji Kawamura. So without further ado, let's get right into the review. So first thing first, table of contents. So in this video we're gonna talk about novel overview, movie overview, characters, the story summary, and conclusion. First, we're going to talk about the novel overview. So, this novel is actually originally a Japanese novel titled Sekai Kara Neko Ga Kei Tanara, but the one that I read is the English version, so it was translated into English. And it was originally published on October 25, 2012. And the original language is obviously Japanese. And the author is Genki Kawamura. And the genre of this novel is fiction. Now, because the novel is actually made into a movie, so I'm gonna talk about the movie briefly. So the title is still the same, but it was released on May 14, 2016, and the language is Japanese, the author is still the same, Genki Kawamura, but the director is Akira Nagai, and the genre of this film become fantasy and thriller. Now we're going to talk about the characters of the novel. So first we're going to start with the postman. So the postman is the main character of this novel. His name is not known because the author used the first perspective or the, per the first point of view. So he doesn't necessarily mention his name. So we're gonna call him postman. And now the second character is the devil. So the devil is the one that offered a postman a deal to love to leave again. So the devil characteristic is actually the same as the postman. They look the same and the difference between them is just their sense of fashion. And then the next one we have postman first love. So the postman first love is his ex-girlfriend that he broke up a while ago. And now the fourth one is cabbage. So cabbage is the name of the postman cats that he currently has. Now for the supporting characters, we have the postman's mom. So she is a very close figure for the postman and postman really love his mom so much. In the next one we have postman's dad. So they both don't really have a very close relationship. They don't really talk that much after the postman's mom died and then last but not least we have Lannis so Lannis is the cat of the postman family that they have a while back before they have cabbage now onto the summary of the story so how exactly the novel start so first the novel start actually with giving us the information about how the postman was diagnosed with a grade 4 brain tumor and how the doctor said that he had limited time to live. But magic actually happened to the postman life. When he was coming back from the doctor, he actually met someone who looks exactly like him. And turns out it is the devil. So, the devil actually offered him more days to live in exchange of making things disappear from the world. Now, what did he do with the offer? So, the postman actually accepted the offer from the devil. So, he agreed to make one thing disappear from the world in order to gain another day to live in the world. So, after accepting the deal, the postman erased several things from the world. So he actually erased five things from the world 
to gain five days to live. However, as those things disappear, the postman realized that they hold an important part and memories of his life. So he was very emotional about about deleting or erasing things from the world and first he erased like phone, clocks and uh, movies and all of that then he realized that they actually hold an important place of human life and his personal life so these things actually remind him of the past of his moms of the cats that he used to have and all of the things like that so he was um, he was reminded of the past because of all of the things. So, how actually the offer ended? So, the last thing that he needed to erase was cat. So, he cannot just erase things based on what he wants, but he needs the devil acceptance too. So, in this case, that day, the devil wants him to erase cats from the world in order to gain another day to live but then because he has been growing up with cats so the first thing he has the first cat that he has was lettuce and that reminds him so much of his moms because his moms love lettuce a lot and then now he has cabbage with him that has been living with him and that was also the cat that his mom raised after lettuce died so Cabbage was a memory that he still have of his mom. So he became very emotional because cats hold an important role in his life. So with many thoughts and consideration and emotional waves that hit him, he decided to give up on the deal so he would rather let himself die rather than losing his cats, rather than making cats disappear from the world. Now, the last thing that we're going to talk about in this video is the conclusion. So, if cats disappeared from the world, offers profound insight on life's intrinsic value, emphasizing the impact of choices and moral dilemmas. Through the existential themes, the narrative prompts reflection on the significance of humans' connection and encourages an acceptance of life's impermanence. And the novel's symbolic elements, like the supreme elements, adapts to its expression of different meanings. And rooted in Japanese culture, the story provides a unique perspective for contemplating diverse philosophical ideas, making it a thought-provoking journey into self-reflection and appreciation for the present moment. And that is all for this video. Thank you for your attention and I hope you are enjoying watching. So, goodbye everyone!